All right, next example problem, we have 7 eighths plus 1 twelfth. So step one, we multiply to find the common denominator. So 8 times 12 equals 96. So 96 is going to be our common denominator here. Now to find our numerators, we have to multiply each numerator times the opposite denominator. So the 7 and 7 eighths, we have to multiply that times 12. The 1 and 1 twelfth, we have to multiply that times 8. This is why they call it the butterfly method, because it ends up being the shape of a butterfly. So 7 times 12 equals 84. 1 times 8 equals 8. So we now have 84 96 plus 8 96. Now that we have a common denominator, the denominator will still stay the same. 84 plus 8 equals 92. We have our answer. 7 eighths plus 1 twelfth equals 92, 96. Thank you so much. Shout out to everybody tuning in in the chat. I appreciate that. I really do. Now, 9296 is not in lowest terms. That can be reduced. So I'm not going to say that's the final answer, but that'll be the final answer for this video. On, a next, on another live stream, I'm going to reduce 9296 to lowest terms. It just won't be this live stream. I don't want to throw too many steps at everybody all at once. So again, 9296 could be reduced. It's not in lowest terms, but we're going to keep that as the final answer just for this video. All right, example number three. 